Hey, it's Uncle Joe with Uncle Joe Hikes. Out here at Sunny, more specifically on the trail to Indian Seats. Just trying to get some time in. I've, I've got a trip next week. I'll be gone for work and uh, need an opportunity to burn some calories and keep my, keep my legs in shape. So uh, this video is not really about the trail. Um, I have a video about this trail if you want to look it up below but rather I thought I'd do some more informational style videos and uh, we talked about tick prevention that sort of thing let's talk about shoes what should you be hiking in so when you think of hiking you think of hiking boots right you think of somebody with a pack on and they're going into the mountains and wearing some rugged boots and there are good reasons for that um, that association is probably fixed in our minds from documentaries and movies and that sort of thing but if you go on social media and ask what kind of hiking boots should I buy probably better than half of the responses will be that you shouldn't that you should buy a trail runner or a trail shoe uh, and they'll range from nobody hikes in hiking boots anymore to you're an idiot if you do it. <laughs> Social media inevitably gets to that part, right? But is that good advice? Is it always good advice? Well, like most things, there's no one answer for everything. So today I thought we'd talk about which is better or do they both have merit? Are there circumstances where one is preferred to the other? Which is best for you? First, let's talk about boots. What are the advantages? What are the pros for hiking in boots? Probably first and foremost is support, right? You're hiking on rocky terrain. You're hiking on roots. Don't want to twist your ankle. Nothing provides support like boots. And... It's that support that has made them the go-to. You know, they're rugged, usually very thick-soled. You can step on rocks without feeling the rock too much. You can bang your toe into a rock. You don't have to worry about breaking your toe. So that's probably first and foremost, is the support you get from a boot is not matched by uh, any other shoe. Second is durability. Boots are more durable, generally speaking. And they have to be to handle all that rough terrain. So you're probably going to have a piece of footwear that lasts a little longer because it's built, it's rugged, and it's just going to take more punishment. Of course, with that comes another advantage. Foot protection. You have protection from the elements. You have protection from the rocks. Uh, from water in some cases uh, depending on you know the water source and how deep it is and that sort of thing um, underneath the shoe underneath a boot you're gonna have more protection so when you're stepping on une uneven terrain or jagged rocks you're gonna have protection from that so you're gonna have uh, with that support and protection you're gonna have less chance of rolling your ankles and that sort of thing Another advantage is warmth. They're going to be warmer. Um, you know, if you're hiking in cold weather, that comes into play as well. And finally, you have a great platform for mounting accessories. What type of accessories? Micro spikes, crampons, if you're hiking in icy conditions. It's going to be a much more rigid platform for that. And uh, again, you're going to have not only more stability in the boot, by itself, you'll have more stability in the boot if you're in snowy or icy conditions. So that's some of the advantages. That's some of the reasons, you know, that make hiking boots a good choice, an excellent choice. So what are some of the disadvantages? Well, disadvantages might be weight. That's probably the main reason people don't hike with hiking boots as much as they used to. They just weigh so much more and if you're doing a long hike 
constantly picking your feet up and putting them down, that begins to add up over time. So that's that's a huge disadvantage of, of hiking boots. Another disadvantage might be that it gives you a false sense of security. You might develop bad habits. You might be more likely to take chances because you know your feet are protected. Um, you know, and that's important because another disadvantage is agility. And so as you start taking more chances, you don't have the agility in a boot to move and avoid situations that you might in a lighter shoe. So you might develop bad habits, you might get a little lazy uh, in the way that you hike, in the way that your gait is, and, and watching out for obstacles and that sort of thing. So those are some disadvantages of the boot. Today I'm out here hiking in my hiking boots. I uh, thought I'd do a, a little jaunt in the boot. <laughs> and they are the Keen Cascades. They are mid-rise boot. Uh, when I first started hiking, I felt like I needed boots, so that's what I did. Nice thing about the Keens, they have a wide toe box, and so there's plenty of room for my foot, which is nice. Um, they're just a great all-around boot. I find that with boots, they're very subjective in how they're going to fit one person to the other, so your mileage may vary. But these are good boots, and I use them when I feel like circumstance uh, requires or better suits them. But uh, yeah, these have been great boots. So when would hiking boots be preferred? Well, maybe if you're in uh, extreme terrain, right? If you know that most of the route is gonna have rocks or be on rock, it could be an advantage to have hiking boots. Maybe you need the stability. Maybe you need the protection. Snow ice. That type of thing. That would be a time when I'd want to wear my boots. In fact, that's mostly when I wear my boots is in snowy conditions. It's just a more solid platform for micro spikes and crampons. So that might be another time where you're going to prefer a boot. Are you someone who's prone to rolling your ankles? You should probably wear a boot, at least first. Um, I've noticed that people who have put on some weight, maybe they gained weight a little fast, so the pace of their gaining the weight has outpaced their strength buildup. Uh, they start wanting to be active, they go to the park, they walk, but they say, every time I go on the dirt, with all the roots and rocks, I roll my ankles. Start with a boot. Don't listen to social media. Start with a boot. Build up your leg strength. Get used to being on dirt and in rock and roots. And, uh, you know, work on that as you bring your weight down. And then maybe transition, if you want to, to trail shoes. Another time you might want to wear boots on a hike is if you're carrying a lot of weight. By that I mean a lot of gear. If you're doing a hike in a situation where you're going to be doing a lot of filming, let's say, or very, very cold weather, or extreme conditions, you're having to carry some gear because you're going to move from dry ground into snow and ice, or into high elevation. Maybe you're on a shoot, right? That's a good time. All that extra weight is gonna be more stable on a hiking boot. So that's some of the advantages of hiking boots. You know, it's it's a great platform for hiking. Um, you know, but it does have some, some disadvantages too. Most people are gonna tell you, save the weight and don't wear boots. But like most things, the real answer is much more nuanced than that. So what about shoes? Trail runners, hiking shoes. If everybody insists that you use them, there's got to be some advantages, right? Probably first and foremost, the reason why people suggest 
and often insist <laughs> that you hike with trail runners is weight. Of course, a lighter shoe means over the course of a long hike, you've had less weight that you're, you've been lifting with each step. And adds up. Definitely. That's the ultimate reason, right? To hike in shoes as opposed to boots. Another reason to use trail shoes, trail running shoes, or trail shoes is that there's so much like tennis shoes and you probably walk around in tennis shoes most of your life, right? I mean, I'm sure there are exceptions to that, but most of us do and most of us are comfortable with them. So if you're already walking around in tennis shoes, why not stick with that same form, if you will, rather than introduce something you're not familiar with? Generally speaking, a trail runner is going to breathe better. Now, if you have a waterproof shoe, that's gonna, not going to necessarily be the case, but generally speaking, it's going to breathe better, which means if you're someone whose feet sweat a lot, trail shoe, trail running shoe might be the way to go. Also, they're going to dry faster, they have less fabric, that sort of thing, uh, lower shoe, it's going to dry a lot faster than a boot. When a boot gets wet, it's going to take some time to dry out. And of course, a trail runner being a lighter shoe, it's going to be more agile. So, if you stumble, you can recover quicker. Um, if you need to scurry, or you need to move quickly out of the way of something or someone, all these are going to give an advantage to a running shoe, trail shoe, because it's just lighter. You can move your feet quicker in them. So what about disadvantages? One of the obvious, less support. This goes back to, do you have ankle issues? Are you prone to roll your ankles? Might not want to start off with trail runners and trail shoes, because you're not going to have that support for your ankle. Durability is another reason. Maybe you don't want a trail shoe, as we talked about with the hiking boots having more durability. Hiking shoe is less durable. There are exceptions to this. You know, fabrics change and build techniques change all the time. But generally speaking, a trail running shoe isn't going to last you as long as a boot. And isn't going to protect your feet from abrasion and rocks and things like that. Like a hiking boot will. With less durability comes less protection for your feet. Now many trail shoes have a rock plate in them to help the bottom. But keep in mind, they're not going to be as rugged on the top. So that's a consideration as well. And finally, they're not going to be as warm as a boot. So if you do a lot of cold weather hiking, keep that in mind as well. So I'm in my Ultra Long Peak 4s now. And these are a great shoe. They're a zero rise shoe, but they have a very wide toe box, which I prefer. Of course, we're not gonna get into the difference between zero rise and that type of thing. That's, that's a whole other thing altogether. So who's a trail runner for? Well, anyone who wants a lighter shoe, right? Through hikers come to mind. Most through hikers do not wear hiking boots. When you're hiking 2,000 miles or plus, you know, <laughs> that extra weight adds up quick. Maybe you're someone who uh, rolls their ankles or are prone to it. You wouldn't want to start off with a trail runner shoe or trail shoe. Um, more likely to roll your ankles. So if you don't have stable ankles, that comes to mind. If you hike in varied terrain, that's another good reason to go with a trail running shoe or a trail shoe. You know, if you have a mix of dirt, rock and root, mix of flats and climbing, it's probably not worth it to just go with a hiking boot when most of the trail's dirt, right? or most of it's on flat terrain. So 
that's another time it might be best to just hike with a trail running shoe. New deck, didn't take long before the lovebirds showed up. I hope Joe, Joe and Lori last a long time. Mm, leaving the new deck. Make our way down. New fence as well. So shoes, boots, like everything in life, there's no one brand that fits all, there's no one size that fits all, and there's no one kind of shoe that's right for everything. I do think when you get more used to hiking and trail runners and trail, trail shoes, you'll find they probably offer the broadest range of circumstances where you'd want to use them over a boot. Sun's trying to peek out, which would be nice. Of course, we don't need the heat. It's been relatively cool today. But yeah, what do you think? Those of you who have hiked for a long time, are you strictly a hiking shoe, trail running shoe type of person? Are you a boots all the time? I don't, I don't think any less of people who say look i'm just going to hike in boots and that's the way it is because really in the history of hiking boots were the staple you know for many many decades <laughs> and for good reason you know durability ankle support and all of that plays a huge role and i still think they have their place as i said when i'm hiking in snowy conditions icy conditions that type of thing it's kind of nice to have a boot and at least you feel a little bit more confident as you move around. So, at the end of the day, it's up to you. This really is one of the best places to come and keep your hiking legs going. A little bit of climbing, nothing too bad. You can go across the street and get bigger climbing if you want to. But yeah, Sunny Mountain coming, Georgia. It's one of my go-tos each week. Here's old Gooby waiting patiently. Hopefully nobody broke in. I got my lemon twist. I might want to bang up my ankles later. Yeah, back at old Gooby. Got a dry shirt on. Feels so nice after a hike when you've sweated so much. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on hiking footwear below. Are you a trail runner only person? Are you a boot only person? I think circumstances often dictate the footwear, but uh, would like to know your thoughts. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here, find something to eat.